What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the Nerf Rival Curve Shot Flex. All right, so the Flex is the other blaster that's been released in the new Curve Shot subseries line to Rival. If you aren't familiar, this is a line that allows you to curve your shot by rotating the muzzle here to change where the hop up is. And that does seem to work pretty effectively. Uh, if you haven't checked out my side swipe review, which is the other blaster that's been released, definitely check that out above. Pretty sweet blaster, uh, but this one pretty cool in its own right. Uh, does look like basically a knockout reshell, but the knockout is a pretty cool blaster. So not, not mad about that at all. So uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a breech loading system. Uh, we do have some rival round storage on the side, but you know what? Let's not talk about it too much in the box. Let's look at the back real quick. It does come with five rounds, which is nice. But yeah, it kind of shows you there how it curves your shot by rotating the muzzle there, 90 FPS. Let's go ahead and crack this baby open and flex on them. Rah! A little too much flex. So in the package, you obviously get your flex blaster, five rival rounds, and some instructions. All right, so once again, we have a large handguard that actually also is dart storage or rival round storage, however you want to refer to it, but that is actually on both sides, so you could actually store eight rounds on there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we obviously could also load one up for a total of nine shots uh, held on the blaster, so that's not too bad for such a small blaster like this. We do have a sling point on back. We have, once again, uh, not really iron sights, but just like a line down the blaster so you can kind of line up your shot there. We have a large T-pole that we pull, and that actually, when I pulled that down, it actually opened up the breech also. So that's pretty darn cool. And then we could load in our rival round up there. So we put one in there, and then we can put our other ones in the side here. Pretty sweet, those seem to hold in pretty well, but also seem to come out pretty well-ish, I guess. <laughs> kind of slippery there, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty sweet. So this actually works actually a little more efficiently than the knockout, which I do like, because on the knockout, you have to push this back up. You do have to push the breech in to close that up, but then you are ready to fire. So you don't have to push this back up like you do with the knockout, and I actually like that quite a bit. Uh, that was a weird extra step that you had to do with the knockout. So not a identical reshell, I guess, to the knockout, a little bit different system. Uh, there is a trigger lock right here. So if I pull that up, then I cannot pull the trigger, push that down. It's very minimalized, uh, so you don't really see it. And I think that's nice. The muzzle does rotate side to side here and all the way down. Once again, there's only the four locking points. And so they're basically like a 45 degree angle um, each side there and then all the way down and then all the way up, obviously, if you just wanna shoot straight normal shots. So once again, it would be nice to get some more locking points. Uh, I'm not sure why they only went with four, but um, you, can, you could just you know, leave it in any position that isn't locked in and it should curve your ball more if you point it straight side. Uh, so that is an option. But I think we've pretty much covered most of the features of the blast. Let's go ahead and fire this thing off a couple times. <laughs> I want to push up on this because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> that may be fun to find. Really like how that just pops out. This is so much fun. Load in, close up. Balls everywhere. So yeah, once I figure out I don't have to push this up, which I keep for, I don't know why that's second nature. I haven't even used the knockout a ton, but that's the way that works. But uh, yeah, you don't have to push up on that. So that is nice. 
And I really like that it has a sling point back here, which makes it really easy to sling this blaster because I can see this being really effective uh, to run alongside a primary because of the curve shot ability. Uh, you can pull this out and maybe, uh, maybe peg somebody off that's hiding behind cover, you know, and they're not expecting you to have a blaster maybe like this in your arsenal, who knows. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, pretty fun. Let's go ahead and take this thing outside and see how well it curves our shot. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and put some shots over the chronograph with the flex, but I did bring out some other types of ammo today to test that out and see how well that works, especially with the curve, uh, see if that affects it more or less. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what it's got. Eighty one. Eighty four. Eighty five. Eighty two. Eighty two. I did think that 90 FPS seemed a little high for this blaster. Uh, it seems like more like in the mid 80s. 83. 85. All right, we'll check out the ranges. So range is not as good, not quite as powerful of a blaster as the side swipe, uh, but still not bad. I mean, getting, you know, between you know, 55 feet and 65 feet. You know, there is some bounce and roll there, obviously a little bit. We did get one shot all the way up here to 71, but I'm not sure how much that rolled. Yeah, you know, uh, about what we could expect out of this blaster, about the same as the knockout, I think. So we'll go ahead and see how well that, that muzzle works and curves our shot. All right, I'm not gonna bring a target out today, but we will get a good sense of how well this curves. I'll try some different ammo too, but we'll start out with the normal rival rounds. That's a straight shot. <laughs> Forgot to turn it. We gotta turn that there. So we'll see how this does with it a little bit curved to the left or to the right. It gives a nice little curve to it. Not quite as much because it just doesn't have as much power as the side swipe, but still not bad. Try another one. Try angling up a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely uh, arc it in there a little bit more depending on how you angle your blaster. But it doesn't have a ton of curve, so I'm gonna try something and just put it all the way to the right and see how well that works. Huh, doesn't seem to increase it a ton. Maybe that's why they didn't do it. So interesting, uh, let's go ahead and put that back there and try some other types of ammo. We'll try some X-Shot. I really like the X-Shot rounds. Not too much of a difference, maybe a little more curve. Yeah, not too much of a difference. We'll go ahead and try some straight down because those are definitely fun. You shoot it up and shoot straight down. <laughs> that could be actually pretty effective, I do think. Got some, you get some pretty good range actually that way if you angle it up and it just curves straight down. That's a lot more effective than I thought it was gonna be originally when I heard that they had a straight down option. Try some Nerf rounds. Pretty cool. There we go. We'll go back to the side and see how some Adventure Force rounds do. Those seem to curve a little more and fly a little further, actually. They might be a little lighter, I'm not sure. Yeah, those have some nice curve to them. Actually, 
prefer that. We'll try one straight down since I don't have any more. Oh yeah, that drops a little bit quicker. So yeah, pretty darn fun. Uh, you could definitely use this to some effectiveness, trying to hit people behind cover, uh, at least, you know, make them worried with suppression and then maybe you have a teammate that can get them with something that uh, from the side you know so yeah there's definitely some use to this I do think and being such a small package I think it could be super effective as a sidearm so uh, let's go back inside and I'll give you my final thoughts all right so the flex is pretty darn cool uh, definitely an effective blaster in terms of curving your shot uh, I think that isn't going to be a question with any blaster in this line with the way you change the muzzle and it moves the hop up. Uh, that's just science. So uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, this, I think, would be a super good addition in the right arsenal. I mean, you could definitely run this as some sort of uh, sidearm and bring it out when somebody is bunkered behind cover. Uh, you want to, you know, suppress them maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe a little hard to do that with a single shot blaster, but uh, definitely keep them on guard with a ball that can curve in there and possibly tag them. Uh, maybe just throwing their attention off so one of your teammates maybe could get them, um, you know, flanking or something like that. So uh, definitely could be a cool blaster to pull out in a, you know, CQB style combat. But uh, I think it's a pretty sweet blaster, a little underpowered for what they say, which honestly was to be expected, you know, very similar uh, you know, to the knockout performance wise, I think that was around 85 FPS and this, this is about the same. So pretty sweet there. I do like the uh, ammo storage on the side. I think that's nice. Uh, but in the grip is obviously nice and comfy, big grip, just like the knockout. So very similar in terms of the feel to the knockout besides this big, uh, you know, hand guard here. But you can pick these up right now on walmart.com. Um, and in store in some locations, but I'll put a link in the description box below. Uh, retail is $15 on this blaster. If you're looking for something more of a pseudo primary, uh, that side swipe is pretty sweet, uh, much larger blaster, but uh, pretty darn cool and definitely looks awesome. I did a review on that, like I said, so check that out. Uh, that one retails for around $25, so a little bit more, but uh, both you know, not too, too bad in terms of price point, uh, especially for a rifle blaster. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. It greatly helps out the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Ring the bell for notifications so you'll be alerted to when I post a video. And as always, guys, peace out.